when Moshe Rabbeinu went up to Mount Sinai to take the Torah and to deliver it to the nation of Israel and from them to the whole wide world, there was a group of furious angels that were not willing to hand the Torah to flesh and bones. And they wanted to burn Moses alive. And then they start questioning Hashem. They couldn't understand the way of God for allowing a human being to climb above the physical mount Sinai to the spiritual mount of Hashem to walk between them over there in the sky and they saw that Hashem was about to hand the Torah to him for him to give it to his people to human beings and then they started asking Hashem why are you doing that how come how can you why are you doing that so Hashem the humble Creator that we follow with a happy heart, trusting every decision He makes in His own world that He created from zero, looked at Moses and told him, you should answer them. So Moses, terrified as any other human being that would stand in that position, standing in front angels that every one of them is larger and and uh, and greater than the whole universe made out of spiritual flaming fire that can eat a person alive in no time he needs to face them and to give arguments start fighting back so he said he answered god hashem and told him i'm scared that they will burn me with their breath. They just need to whisper the smallest thing just to breathe in front of me and I'm, I'm going to be burnt. So Hashem answered to him, Echoz You should hold to my throne of honor. That was the advice that Hashem gave to Moses to hold his throne of honor and by that to get strength to answer the angels that were so so strict and so powerful and so ready to kill with their with their truth for their truth what is that secret of holding the throne of honor so it's written that the face of the first man, Adam, is carved on the throne of honor of Hashem, of the Creator. And it's written that the face of Jacob is similar to the face of Adam Rishon, of the first man. So it means that the face of Jacob is carved on the throne of honor. And we know that the name Yaakov, Jacob, was the first name that was given to him. But then Hashem gave him another name. And the name that he gave him was Israel. So actually the face of Israel is carved on the throne of honor. And it's written that the souls of Israel are coming from under the throne of honor of Hashem and with them it's written that Hashem the creator of the world was consulting before creation on how to create the world what should Hashem do in his world and how he was consulting that with the nation of Israel with the souls of Israel means with the general soul of Jacob means with the complete soul of the first man okay now when moses was weak to stand as an individual in front of those angels and to fight for the torah hashem gave him that 
powerful advice, the solution for all your weaknesses and for all your challenges, for all the fears that are surrounding you, when you don't know how to stand and to express your position and your thought and your heart and your understanding and your faith, you need to attach yourself to the souls of Israel. You should become one with your people and then you'll get the strength. You'll remind yourself of the purpose that for it you came to that battle in the first place. You will remind yourself that you're here to help others, that you're here to bring down grace and wisdom and light to the world for the benefit and success of the pure souls, not only, like we said, the souls of Israel, also the face of the first man means all the souls of all human beings. Their faces are carved in the face, in the general complete face of that holy soul of Adam Rishon, the first man. Attach yourselves to the souls. And when Moses did it, and listened to the voice of Hashem, he had just a simple answer to the angels that was the correct and right one, that gave him the permission finally to take the holy tablets and to bring them down to earth. And he answered the angels, the Torah was written by Hashem for the sake of people, because people need the Torah, because they are facing challenges, they're going through difficult times. Therefore, they need the advice. They need the wisdom. They need the commandments. And they need the strength and the positive light that comes out of the Torah. Light that is not needed for angels, that does not suffer from being physical bodies that are heavy and broken and scarred. That was the answer, the wise answer of Moses to the angels, an answer that gave him the ability to pull and channel the largest and greatest amount of light that was ever cha channeled to the world, the Torah and the oral Torah, the wisdom of truth, the wisdom of God. Based on the fact that the nation of Israel were united, standing in front of the mountain as one person with one heart, based on the fact that Moses attached himself to the purpose of his existence as a leader and a king to do things for the sake of his people. By that merit and based on that deep understanding that the Creator knew that that is the path for success and therefore gave that advice to his chosen messenger, the true leader of our people, of our nation, Moshe Rabbeinu, the main one who brought down salvation to the world. For that act to be a model, an example for our generation, to attach ourselves to the real purpose of our existence, to do good and to spread love among our loved ones. And by that we're going to channel the greatest light of redemption for the whole wide world, for all the souls to be redeemed in our days and in the days of all our loved ones. Amen.